In this circuit, we're being asked to use a superposition to compute this particular I0 in here. And this, in this circuit, if you take a look at it, um, we have one, two, three independent um, sources, two current sources and one voltage source. So the superposition tells me that the I0 here is a contribution of each one of these um, separately, and then you sum them up, just the algebraic sum of the different contribution. So what we can do to solve this particular circuit is, of course, we can use nodal or mesh or whatnot, but what we would do in terms of superposition is we're going to have to turn off certain sources and keep certain sources on. And as it turns out, in superposition, you don't have just to keep one source at a time. You can, for example, turn off this source, keep this one on and this one on, and then compute what the I net is. That will be the first circuit. And in the second iteration, what you do is you turn off this, you turn off this, and you keep this one on, and you figure out what the contribution of I0 and just basically combine them. You can do this. Uh, so you can, can and, and of course you can do like, oh, well, I'm going to turn off this one, this one, and this one, and then you just basically turn one at a time. So I'll do it with turning um, on one source at a time and keeping all the rest off. And I recommend that when you try it, you can just try by saying like, okay, I'm going to turn off this source, keep the other two, and then the second circuit will be turned on this source and then keep, um, turn off this source. All right, so let's let's get started. So what I will do first is I will turn off um, this source. Let me just highlight which source I'm going to turn off. I'll turn off this source and I'll turn off this source. So let me just redraw the circuit that will result after turning off these two resistors or these two current sources. So we have the six ohms in here and then we have uh, the voltage source in here because this source will stay on. And this is the six ohms in here. Um, this is a 6 ohms and then another 6 ohms in here and another 6 ohms in here. Okay, so how do I turn off um, res sources? Um, before I do this, let me just do this here. 12, I believe this is, they're all in kilo ohms. So let me just do this here. These are kilo ohms, kilo ohms, and this is kilo ohms. All right, so how do I turn off sources? Well, simply a current source, you turn it off by making the current zero. So basically cut the wire, make it an open circuit. So I'm going to open circuit here. And also I'll open circuit in here. So as it turns out to be that these source, uh, these wires that I just drew do not exist in this circuit if you think about it, because this there's no wire in here, there's no wire, there's no current in here, there's no current in here, and there's no current in here. Similarly for this 12 kilo ohms, it's outside the circuit, um, and that's about it. Um, okay, so what are, what were we looking for? We're looking for this particular I not in here. So this is here in this particular circuit, I'll be able to get what I not prime is, which is the effect of this 12 volt on this resistors and how to compute it. All right, so what we can do is um, we can combine these resistors, by the way, like this resistor and this resistor share I not, so I can just sum them. They're in series, similarly for these two in here. So if you do that, um, you'll end up with a resistor that looks like this. This is plus, this is minus 12 volts, and then we have, I believe it will be 12 kilo ohms in here and another 12 kilo ohms in here. Okay. All right. So the current that we're looking for is this here is I not. Okay. And simply I not based on the first circuit is just simply 12 divided by 12, which is one milliamp. I believe it will be negative because it's the opposite direction. So if you think about it in here, the voltage, this plus minus here, this is 12 volts. So I have to use a negative based on passive sign convention. Okay, so it's negative 1 milliamp. Again, if this here is plus, this here is negative 12 volts because they're in parallel. Okay, um, the 12 volts in here and the 12, so this is higher than that. So what happens, the I is going to the negative, so I have to put that negative in here. Okay, based on passive sign convention. Okay, so we'll figure out the effect of the 12 volts on the I now. All right, what about now the other sources? So what I will do now is I will turn off this source, and I'll keep, uh, for example, this source on for now. Okay, I'll turn off these two sources, the 12 volts in here and the 4 milliamp, and I'll redraw the circuit to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's do that. Um, I just move things around, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep these uh, um, equations in here when I find out like I naught and I naught prime prime and so forth. All right, so let me redraw this circuit in here. So I'll have a six kilo ohms in here. Okay, and of course, how do I turn off a voltage source? What a voltage source, I want that voltage to be zero in here. So what I do is I'll short circuit it. I just basically replace it with a wire. Okay, so we're going to replace the 12 volts with a wire. We're going to keep the 6 kilo ohms in here. And I believe there's another 6 kilo ohms in here. Um, okay, 
let me just do that here and then this six kilo ohm stays in here the six kilo ohm stays in here um, and of course um, we're keeping this source in here so we, re we will draw it that will be a six milliamps and this here is a 12 kilo ohms and this source in here well we're gonna just open circuit it so there's no need for me to draw anything in here because when you turn off a current source all you have to do is just basically open circuit that all right so what sort what current or voltage i'm looking for well i'm looking for this particular i naught all right which pretty much if you think about it it's you, we can combine this six kilo ohms and this six uh, this six kilo ohms because it's the same i naught um it will result in the following circuit in here so i'll get the six kilo ohms okay and i get this wire in here and there's another six kilo ohms in here and the current source that's six milliamps and i have the 12 milliamps or 12 kilo ohms sorry and then what we have is we have another 12 kilo ohms in here so and that will be the current i'm looking for which is i prime prime you did not call it i prime prime before it's i prime prime okay so but i just want you to pay attention to the following this resistor is in parallel with a wire which means it is short circuited so that it does not exist that means this current in here happened to be just simply zero okay so in this particular effect what i have is i not not is just simply zero milliamp and that's about it Again, um, this if you think about it, the, these two resistors, this resistor is in parallel with the wire, so it does not exist. Frankly speaking, that means the current will, if, if it doesn't exist, or simply the voltage across it is zero. If the voltage is zero, we know based on um, I equals V divided by R, well, V is zero, that means I is zero. And that's basically it. So the current source, this particular current source happened to not affect the I not at all. Its effect is zero. All right, so that's the second circuit. What happens um, for the third circuit, which basically I'm going to now um, turn off this source, okay? And I'm going to keep this source on at this point, okay? So let me just redraw that for you. Okay, so let's do that redrawing in here. So we will use that six kilo ohms in here. And of course, this here is off, so that it's replaced with a wire, that voltage source, and another six kilo ohms in here. Okay. And what we have is we have a 6 kilo ohms in here and another 6 kilo ohms in here. And I believe the current source in here stays. The current source becomes 4 milliamps and then 12 kilo ohms in here. And of course, the current source in here, we don't have to worry about it because we're going to open circuit it. Okay. Of course, you might be, well, you might see at this point that these two are in series together. So they will result in a 12 kilo ohms, but they're also in parallel with the wires. So they don't exist. So technically, these here, um, you can replace them with simply just a wire in here. Okay. So what am I looking for? What I'm looking for the following. I'm looking for this particular current in here. I'm going to call it I not prime 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 because this is the third circuit. All right, so how do I compute this? Multiple ways, but if you think about it, um, the six and the six are just simply in parallel, like they share this node and this node, so they are in parallel, and I know the source current that is going through them, so that particular source in here, which is four milliamps, gets split between this six kilo ohms and this six kilo ohms. And of course, um, in the direction, because the source is here, that means it splits that way and this way, the current we're looking for is in the opposite direction. So we can use current division for that, and current division, um, in the case where the two resistors are equal, it just simply tells me that the current is being divided in half. So simply I can just say a i not prime 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 is just simply negative four divided by two, which is just negative two milliamps basically. Okay. Again, um, what we what, what I did in here, the reason for the negative is typically if the source is going that way, it gets split between the two res the two resistors. What I'm looking for is the opposite direction, so it's negative two milliamp. So now, if you take a look at it, I have the results of uh, the effect of the first source, the second source, and the third source. In order for me to compute what I not is, all I have to do is just compute the power, uh, or I just compute, I just add them up, not compute the power. So let me just do that in here. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's let's compute it. Okay, so what we have is simply I not equals I not prime plus I not prime prime plus I not prime 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 so that will be negative one milliamp plus zero negative two which is simply negative three milliamps so that's basically this i naught 
All right, so that's in terms of the current. I'm also being um, asked to compute the power. And the reason why is because I want to show you um, the effect that power is different this way. So what I'll do is I'll compute the power in three um, different ways. So I know the current through this resistors in three different cases. This is the first one, second one, and the third one. So what I will do is I'll compute the power here. For example, I can say, well, the power prime, for example. Okay, and I'll compute the power prime prime, and I'll compute the power prime prime prime. Just remember the power is not a linear um, entity or not a linear, linear circuit variable. So technically the superposition does not apply to it. And I'll show you that now with this example. So what is the power? Well, just remember the power is just simply I squared divided or I squared R, okay? Because it's V squared divided by R or I squared R. Well, I have the I squared, so all I have to do is just basically square it. That will be one square times R, which is six um, milliwatts. Okay, because what I did is the, the current was in milliamps and um, this is in kiloamps. Okay, so the uh, kilo, kilo ohms and milliamps that tells me it's in milliwatts. Okay, so let me just do this in here. That will be zero. Um, that's basically prime. That will be zero watts. And if you think about it, the third one will be two squared, which is four times six. Um, four times six is just simply 24 milliwatts. Okay. All right. So. So let's add them up for now. So P is technically does not equal P prime plus P prime prime plus P prime prime prime. And I'll show you that now. So it's six plus 24 is just 30 milliwatts. So if you mistakenly apply superposition and end up with, well, the power should be 30 milliwatts. But I know the actual current throughout this resistor, the actual current in the resistor with all the sources on. So if this is on, this is on and the third one is on, I know the current through it is just simply negative 3 milliamp. So the power is really 3 or negative 3 squared times 6 kilo ohms, which is, um, I believe it's 9 times 6, okay? So 9 times 6 is simply 54 milliwatts, okay? So it is definitely not 30 milliwatts. So what I'm showing you in here is this is the correct one, this is the wrong one. That's what I'm showing you. So let me highlight the correct one here. So power does you cannot use superposition to compute power you can use superposition to compute the i you can use superposition to compute the v but you can't just tell me the individual power contribution of this and this and that are combined because it's not a linear entity because i have that particular square in here so if you were asked to compute the power across six kilo ohms using source transformation not source transformation but um superposition what you do is you compute the i naught I not prime, I not prime prime, I not prime prime prime, and then you figure out what the actual I prime is, and then you compute the power. That's how we do that.